Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Cybersecurity Ranger. This is the first video in the series of wireless hacking. So in this first video, I will just basically take you through to the basic setup of the wireless card and see if it's working properly. Uh, the first thing that you need to check is whether you have uh, the wireless card and it's connected to the um, to the virtual machine. So as you can see, currently it's connected to the virtual machine and it says disconnect and connect to the host in case if you want to connect it to the host machine. Uh, one thing I must um, mention here is that if you're working in the VMware or virtual box, you need to have an external wireless card. Uh, I'm using Alpha card. Now the reason that the internal wireless card of your machine is not detected by the VMware version of Kali is because it doesn't uh, support the drivers. So the first thing that you need to do is that you need to get an external wireless card which is compatible. And with my experience, um, I would suggest that you should be using the alpha wireless cards and not the other ones like TP-Link, for instance. Uh, sometimes it may work, sometimes it may not work. Now, another way to check if your wireless card is connected to the Kali is by running the command iwconfig. And as you can see, this is my wireless card, this is my Ethernet card. Um, so for me, the wireless card is connected and it's working fine. Now let's just take you through um, some of the basic commands. So the first one that I'm going to use is IW. So my wireless card is WN0, scan, pipe sign, grep, SSID. Now this command will basically um, allow my wireless card to capture the SSIDs of the wireless uh, networks which are in my range. So as you can see, the SSIDs are mentioned here, and this is the one that I'll be working with, which is uh, Cybersecurity Ranger. Now, another thing you wanna check is what kind of frequencies are supported uh, with the wireless card. So for that, you need to run IW list WN0 and frequency. So not a surprise, um, it supports uh, 14 frequency channels and which are within the range of 2.4 to 2.5 gigahertz. And that is basically the ISM industrial scientific and management um, security band. And, and this is usually the wireless um, networks. They are operating on 2.4 gigahertz and the latest wireless routers, they also operate on five gigahertz, which was not the case if we go a few years back. Uh, so the five gigahertz band frequency, the difference is that um, 2.4 gigahertz has a longer range than 5 gigahertz, but 5 gigahertz has a better performance than 2.4 gigahertz, and so on and so forth. Now, if you have noticed something, when I write IWconfig, the wireless is in the managed mode. Now, in the managed mode, the wireless won't be able to sniff or capture the packet, so it has to be in the monitor mode. There are multiple ways in which you can actually um, change the mode of your wireless card from manage to the monitor mode. One of the ways is that you can run IW dev WLAN zero interface and and you can name it anything. I'm going to name it mon zero and the type that I'm going to mention is monitor. So this basically will create a new interface with the name mon0 and the type 
of that mon zero interface is going to be monitored instead of managed. Now, if I run if config or IW config, whatever you like, uh, if I run if config, you can see that the the WLAN is there, but the new interface that I created is 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 not there. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write minus A to see all the interfaces. And as you can see, it's there, but it's um, kind of disabled, I would say. So I need to enable this mode. Or basically, it's down, so you have to turn it up. So mon zero up. So now if I run if, the, if config, you should be able to see the monitor mode. Now, in order to check the type, whether it's a monitor or managed mode, I'll just write IW config. And now you can see I have two wireless interfaces. WLAN 0 is the default interface, which is in managed mode. And MON 0 is basically the monitor mode. Right? I'll come back to it later. What is the usage of the monitor mode? Uh, because most of our labs, practicals that I'll be doing, it requires the wireless card to be in the monitor mode, not in the managed mode. So if you want to delete it, the interface that you just created, you just have to write IWDEV, the name of the interface that you just created, interface and delete. This will basically delete the interface. If I write iwconfig again, so we don't have the interface that I just deleted, right? Okay. Um, another way to to change the manage mode to monitor mode without creating a new interface is that I will write iwconfig, the name of the interface that is WLAN0, I'll change the mode to monitor. So this basically will not create a new interface. It will actually create the actual interface and change the mode from monitor to, uh, sorry, manage to monitor. And then not only that, you can also specify the channel on which this mode should be operating only. So if I write channel three, for instance, um, so, Probably I need to make it down in order to change the manage mode to the monitor. So now you can see that the mode has been changed from manage to monitor and I had to put the interface down to change the mode. Now I'll just make it up again. And now if I write iwconfig, I should be able to see that it basically changed from manage to the monitor, right? But when I take it back to the managed mode, I just need to write iwconfig wlan0 mode managed. Again, I have to put it down, wlan0 down. And then I need to change the mode to managed. And then, of course, I need to make it up again. Right? It's taking some time. All right. Some of the Airmon NG's essentials, these are basically some of the basic commands for Airmon. So Airmon NG, we will be using this tool a lot. So the first thing that you want to do is Airmon NG check. Now, what Airmon NG check will tell you is that if there are any processes which are uh, may, which may conflict with the, with the wireless card, uh, when you are trying to perform some practicals. So I suggest that you run the command airmon ng check kill. 
is going to kill the processes which may cause may or may not cause problem for you so just to be on the safe side i just ran this command but i also need to make sure if my wireless card is still there right okay now another thing is that if you don't want to change the monitor mode by using iw config or iw uh, tools uh, you can also use Airmon ng itself and say start wlan zero what this does is that it is going to change the manage mode to the monitor mode but it won't create a new interface as you can see monitor mode is enabled i can re-verify by using iw config and as you can see that the wireless card is in the monitor mode now once the wireless card is in the monitor mode i can i can start scanning the wireless networks in my range so error dump ng wlan zero and there you can see that it has actively started scanning all the wireless networks which are in the range i can press ctrl c to stop the scan and as you can see you have the cybersecurity ranger which is configured with wpa2 ccmp and uh, the other wireless cards so you can see it so that was it pretty much for the first video i just wanted to keep it short just to talk about the setup of the wireless card for the practicals in my next video i'm going to demonstrate further um, what we can do with airmon ng with aircrack and how we can scan capture the packets how we can analyze them and how we can crack them thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe